Calculate the work done when one mole of water vaporizes at one atmosphere in 100 degrees Celsius. So water vapor might not have the most ideal gas behavior, but in certain circumstances, we can assume ideal gas behavior and get a relatively accurate answer. And also, if we think about our system, at the beginning, the boundary of the system is surrounding the liquid water. At the end, the system expands to incorporate the water vapor, but the amount the liquid water expands is negligible. So to calculate the PV work, we just need to calculate the volume of the new formed gas. We'll use the ideal gas law. What is the volume of one mole of gas at temperature 373 Kelvin and one atmosphere pressure? Solving for V, so we go from no gas to a volume of gas that's equal to 30.6 liters. The water vapor expanded from zero volume to this volume against a constant pressure of one atmosphere. So the work done is just P times V, 30.6 liter atmospheres. But the work done was by the system on the surroundings, so this is negative. 